remembering 9-11. I'm Jake Garcia. Imagine planning a trip to New York City only to have it fall on September 11, 2001. And that's exactly what happened to former Boise State President Bob Kustra and his wife Kathy. Our Don Nelson spoke with the Kustras about their fate on that Tuesday morning. Oh, it was a gorgeous it was an absolutely beautiful day. Blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. Exactly. Bob Custer and his wife Kathy were vacationing in New York, staying at their son's apartment near the World Trade Center. On Monday, September 10th, they bought two tickets to go to the top of one of the towers. It was raining, so they were told they could come back on Tuesday morning. Early in the morning, we thought, well, we're on vacation. Do we really need to get down there at 9 in the morning for a 9.30 opening? Um, Maybe we'll just be a little late. So Custer went for a short walk in search of a bookshop. What happened next changed everything. I was on 10th Street, and uh, as I got to the corner of 10th and 6th Avenue, some guy uh, grabbed me and said, hey, look, a small plane just went in to the towers. And I remembered at that moment that I had just seen this huge plane go overhead at, on my walk. Custer rushed back to the apartment where he and Kathy tried to process what was happening just blocks away. And, and we did know for a fact that we were now completely isolated because they cut off traffic, Hudson, the tunnel, everything. You could not get into Manhattan anymore after yeah. that happened because they really didn't know what was going on. When they first left the apartment together, they walked out and we had to step over firemen, policemen, sleeping EMTs eggs. that were sleeping on the sidewalk trying to catch a few hours of sleep before they were sent back to duty down at Ground Zero. They stopped by a local hospital to donate blood. They were in line when this happened. And all of a sudden, but it was very quiet. There were no ambulances coming in or anything. And all of a sudden, a guy came out of the hospital with kind of a handmade sign on a piece of cardboard. And it said, no blood needed today. And that's when it kind of hit us that there were no there, This survivors. wasn't going to be about survivors. This was going to be about people who were lost or people who got out. Now, 20 years later, the Custras do look back and wonder what if. But, you know, it was one of those things, Don, that you were there or you weren't. There was, it wasn't a time to be thinking, gee, I almost no, was I there. Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.